Well, hello everybody, and welcome to L.A. Dodger Report. Today's edition, boy was I wrong, but I was also right about this year's Dodgers. What was I wrong about? Well, when talking about the uh, team this year at the beginning of the season, I was frequently uh, mentioning that 2017 and that hall of sluggers that they had that led the team all the way to the World Series with home runs aplenty, I was thinking that was just a fluke. That won't repeat itself. The Dodgers have long been a team that uh, relied on pitching over scoring. Sure, they had years where they had a few sluggers on the team. You'd have uh, Piazza and Keros, Mondesi, but nothing, nothing like what we saw last year. And I thought the Dodgers were just going to revert back to their old style of baseball, which is low scoring, great pitching, and still managing to win. But it turns out that 2017 wasn't a fluke. It turns out the Dodgers are just a crazy home run slugging team, and they may well be this way for as long as we can see. The Yankees had murderers row. Boy, these Dodgers have something like the Blue Assassins crew or a lineup that just doesn't quit, just doesn't stop. Up and down the lineup, they've got guys that just bring the crush. They just bring the hurt to opposing pitching staffs. The Dodgers now have seven players with 10 home runs or more. Check this out. Check out this list. We've got Max Muncy leading the team with 20 home runs. We ain't even at the All-Star break exactly yet. Muncy with 20. Matt Kemp, 15 home runs. Yasiel Puig coming up strong lately, 17 home runs. Cody Ballinger, same, getting on the horse a little late, but man, he is trotting it out there. He's at 17 home runs as well. Yasiel, uh, or rather Yasmani Grandal, lucky 13, he's at 13 home runs. Chris Taylor, 19 home runs, right on the tail of Max Muncy. And Jock Peterson, showing signs of the potential that many, many saw way back in his rookie year. He's filling it out, matured as a hitter, and he is blasting home runs like many thought he would a few years ago. Jock is at 15 home runs. The Dodgers as a team have hit just under 70 home runs since June. And we've only just begun. We're only in the first week of July. So that is just absolute craziness. So where was I right about the Dodgers? Well, on Matt Kemp. Prior to the season, I had a listener here, a viewer of LA Dodger Reports videos, had asked me way back at the beginning, when the Dodgers were talking, <clears throat> when the Dodgers had actually traded uh, Adrian Gonzalez away in a salary dump and picked up Matt Kemp. And the viewer had asked me to put together a little video answering who would I rather have, Gonzalez or Kemp. And I went through it and I came out on the other end saying Matt Kemp has the higher power numbers and I'd much rather have him on the team if I have to have him. So I came up right on that. Where else? During spring training, which I showed a few videos back during spring training, I mentioned 
that I would be very happy to take Max Muncy and I encourage the Dodgers to keep Max Muncy because I saw the power, I saw the speed, I saw the ability to play the infield like anybody else and saw the potential in the guy. Uh, happily the Dodgers listened to me <laughs> and actually not. You know, um, a lot of times I will knock the front office over their over-reliance on um, stats and they're uh, frequently taking gambles on previously injured pitchers and I'll hit them on the head about those things and sometimes I'm right about that but I'll tell you what um, I'm going to give them credit on Max Muncy because they're the ones that gave Muncy the shot in spring training they're the ones that picked him up and they're the ones that saw what I saw as well saw the potential kept him on the squad brought him up and now he is one of the major stars on the team. So bravo to the front office on Max Muncy. So this team is just now in first place, tied for first anyway, uh, going into a couple series against the Angels. And we are now poised to hold on to first place, right it into the All-Star break, and hopefully hang on to first place National League West for the rest of the season. The Dodgers have gone from a Jekyll and Hyde team. Who are they? What are they going to become? And are they going to improve? They've gone from a team full of question marks to a team that is very, very fun to watch. They are great for the fans. They're great for each other in that dugout. You can see uh, that they support each other and we've returned to a squad that is a different hero every night, which again is reminiscent of 2017. And so they're a great team for us and they've become a real fearsome opponent for uh, opposing pitching staffs. So I'm very happy to see that. Congratulations, LA Dodgers, on taking first place. Let's keep up the good work. Yes, let's. <laughs> and thanks for joining me. I'm going to drop links down in the bottom for those videos uh, about where I had um, mentioned about Muncie and spring training and uh, the other link about where uh, I said that I'd prefer to keep Kemp. And... Um, you know, we all thought that Kemp was going to be uh, just, you know, uh, keep around for a few uh, minutes and then trade off. But it, it uh, happily worked out. And so that's good news. Keep up the good work, Dodgers. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe down at the bottom. We'll see you soon. See you next time. Peace.